Hello everybody, welcome to Review a Day, episode number 107, for Sunday, December the 21st, 2008. Hello everybody, welcome to Review a Day, the daily video blog, where I review a movie seven days a week. My name is Leland Brunger, and thank you very much for joining me. Here in Washington, this like last week, we've had more snow than uh, pretty much ever I can remember, especially sticking around this many days. And... In the Northwest, we do not handle snow very well. We don't, we, it rains all the time. We, it hardly ever snows. It snows, you know, four times a year and it melts uh, in the next day. But it's sticking around and I haven't, like, driven my car in, like, five days probably. And I've just been stuck at home a lot of the time and I'm going crazy. It's, it's really, it sucks staying at home this much. Um, I, I, I want to leave. Uh, but I have been watching a lot of TV on DVD and I... Uh, if you head over to nitpicket.com, my blog, N-I-T-P-I-C-K-E-T, -E um, I've been posting all of my favorite Christmas specials. Uh, I'm going to be posting Mary Tyler Moore. I posted The Office, Mad About You, Fresh Prince, write-ups of all my favorite Christmas specials. And uh, So head over to nitpicket.com to check that out. I've had a lot of fun doing that. Um, but the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is the new Gus Van Sant film, Milk. Uh, Gus Van Sant is the director of Good Will Hunting, um, Last Days, he did a lot of more experimental indie flicks, like Gary and Last, like Last Days, uh, Paranoid Park, Elephant, uh, strange director, this is definitely a return to his more mainstream, um, films. This stars, this film stars Sean Penn, Emile Hirsch, Josh Brolin, Diego Luna, James Franco, and, uh, Lucas Grabiel from, uh, High School Musical also has a, uh, uh, small role in this film. And Milk tells the true story of the uh, California's first openly gay uh, elected official, um, Harvey Milk. It takes place in San Francisco, um, and it, 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 a lot of it has to deal with his um, problems he had with another like city council member or uh, city supervisor, I believe they are, um, Dan White, played by Josh Brolin. Um, Milk is, is a great movie. I think that all three of these films I'm reviewing, Frost, Nixon, this, and Gran Torino, there's a level of filmmaking and quality that goes into them that you don't see any else, any other time of the year. I mean, I've, I've seen a lot of movies this year, and there's just something about these films that is, is I don't, it's not better, but there's just, there's more weight to it, there's more meatiness, and you can tell the people who are making it knew what they wanted to make and they you knew they had they had an idea of what they wanted to say and milk i think 100 percent of this film is the message it packs about homosexuality and civil rights and the political message it has i think that is the most important thing about this film and that's why i think milk is one of the best films of the year and i think it's one of the most important films of the year i'm not sure it's one of the best films though um and I, what I mean by that is I think some of the characterizations in this film are a little bare and they, they're they made much, uh, the characters come alive much more because of the wonderful performances the actors give them. Um, first of all, Sean Penn deserves every single amount of praise you've been hearing. He's, he's spectacular in this film. James Franco does a fantastic job at Emile Hirsch. Um, but there's characters in this film, a lot of the um, kind of satellite characters, I guess, um, who I feel are kind of wasted. Lucas Grabiel, I, I couldn't understand why he was in the film. And then at the end of the movie, we're shown all these pictures of the real life people. And the reason those people are in the movie, these characters off on the side, is because they ended up doing really important things. But in the context of this movie, it felt a little tacked on to me and I didn't feel it completely necessary. Um, um, I'm also really surprised that two of the big films this year, Slumdog Millionaire and Milk, are surprisingly really uplifting. Um, I think Milk has an incredible... I think one thing I loved so much about Milk is how hopeful it is. Um, I'm so sick of just these emotionally... Um, these movies that just bombard you with horribly sad images and kind of get a response from you that way, as opposed to Milk, which is a film that builds you up and makes you feel like anything is possible. And I absolutely love that about this film. Um... It's it's one of the most important films of the year, and I can't recommend it enough. I give Milk a four and a half out of five. I think um, 
it's incredibly important because of the message, and I think that is what this movie is about. But I think some of the characterizations and stuff like that, and some of the stuff in the screenplay, uh, takes a back seat to that. But it does that so well. It, the the characterization. It's my ringtone right now. Um, but the characterizations uh, totally derailed me. Uh, it's a great movie, but I feel like some of, I feel like some of the roles are a little underwritten, but they're made up for with fantastic performances. If you guys are liking my reviews, make sure and subscribe. I'm already losing my voice again. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or would like to see me review any films, leave them in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow.